Hi everyone, this is Jack from 3D BioCAD. In this video, I'm going to show you what is the main point and what we have to do for uh, the creating the shell provisioner or shell temporary today. Uh, also, I'm going to use the trios file and I also are going to use patient's smile photo. So the first step, the making creating an order. I just create one, but let me show you how the inside. Just click modify. We know we have to click the under the anatomy. We have to choose a temporary crown. If need a pontic, just choose a temporary pontic. It's not a big deal. But the most important thing is if you want to put the patient's photo and merge it with your 3D scan file, or scan file, or mother scan file, don't matter. We have to click uh, the prep rep pre-preparation, I'm sorry, pre-preparation. We have to choose this function. Uh, I'm gonna show you why later. So I set temporary crown and I connected the bridge and then I click pre-preparation function too. Let me click OK. So when I import scan file, follow the instruction, upper, open, and in a few seconds, antagonist, lower, open. And it will ask us about the pre-preparation. Please put same upper jaw scan one more time. Open it. And let me get into the design. So the shell design, if you guys have experience, of course you guys know what you have to do, what we have to be careful. But if it's the first first time, please you watching this. Trimming is not big deal. We know this part, right? Just trim. Okay. Let me skip this. Save your time. lower let me just skip it I just click next or close your setup next I'm not gonna touch the patient's original bite don't make mistake like this if you did click reset but sometimes 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 when you guys check with occlusion we can see this is good example uh, patients left side we can see the red color which is like touching right side we have a gap there so try to click optimize optimize click it if you click the optimize uh, three shape dental system just try to match left and right balancing so it's a lot better than before let me just try to use this and then go next sculpting let me just skip it you guys know the skip sculpting, right? If you don't know, sculpting is like this. Even this is original scan file, if we have some, let me say, or what we can have some issue, we have some particle on the surface, or sometimes we have some bubbles there, if you scan the model, or sometimes if you scan the model uh, with from the bad impression, we can, uh, sometimes we cannot see the margin line or gingival line, we can create the line more clearly like this for the shell you have to make sure uh, if you scan the model if you can see the uh, cervical line or gingival line just use your knife make it clear and scan it or use a sculpting tool to creating the clear tooth outline like this okay go next margin line the first margin line is not really margin line and then also this is non prep scan so even there's no prep line so don't follow this instruction we don't have prep tools, right but click on the center or if it's a uh, interior click the incisor just click one time three shape detect the tooth out line okay did very good job okay go next next one in Asia and Europe 21 in USA number nine click inside your own center 
check if it's no good fixing it and then can you see my drawing is just like a dancing because this button like a snap to edge normally I just turn off this to draw like a free hand like this okay and I make sure this margin line I just call that like a sectioning line is not overlapped each other okay it will make you some error or some issue so make sure this section in line is not touching each other okay that's good go next okay so next step direction anyway the final design will gonna be is gonna be just like a hundred percent shell all uh, the all the surface of the tools like a crown or bridge will have the same thickness right so direction is not really big deal but if you think about your milling side if I go to side view like this we know in the milling in the disc or puck is always follow the design the direction for the first time so if you have a too much angle with your design when you import in your cam solder you will tilt too much so you have to tilt again manually so it can make some undercut inside or outside so make sure direction is not too much angle so to me this one I'm gonna make just like this much view direction set it click set button got change the direction okay don't worry about the outside undercut okay good go to next step okay we are in interface and if you see the small icon on top of here we have to draw the margin again so this red line is actual your shell crown or temporary margin so for the first section line it just section outside of the skin so now we can see inside over here software create just like it looks like two pontics here so please go side view like this just modify the contact area just draw it okay I just recommend avoiding the contact area okay to avoid some stupid error go next second one draw the line just modify it good go next so now we have to crown for the first time software just copy exactly same as a patient's original tooth so if patient tooth is not too bad we can just modify a little bit from the patient's original tooth like this or like this but mostly the reason why we do this work is we want to make beautiful crowns so click the smile library choose the library Don't matter is up to you which library you use I'm using shift to change the size both symmetric to the same time okay let me do design really quickly a little bit okay let me say okay I just like this much and of course we want to check patients original tools original teeth here turn off and on the reason why we check this as we know doctor will prep patients original teeth not really extract right so if we design shell temporary uh, is it too much different like too much out or too much bring in or too short than patients original teeth doctor need to prep too much right so it's not gonna work so make sure not 
too much difference uh, with the patient's original teeth. Okay. Okay. So now I just want to bring in the patient's photo. Let me click rear view, rear view. Click the photo, open it. So now I bring in the patient's photo and then the reason why I just recommend, actually we should do SAT pre-preparation. The reason why, if we set, my case, I just set only two anterior teeth. So even we have a pre-preparation or not, is not really matter, but let me say six anterior teeth from number six to 11 or like a 13, 12, 11, 21, 22, 23, even 24, if we gonna prep or we gonna make shell temporary from the premolar to premolar, after we section out the tooth from the original scan, we don't have any merging point. Does that make sense? So that's why we should have pre-preparation. So for this case, let me just take it off, turn off this. Pre-preparation and prep scan is not merged, right? So let's do that first. Please go over, follow my icon, align to preparation. Click this one time. I want to use three point alignment. Click it. So one and one, two and two three and three and align it okay so for this work if we have a, a prep over four or six anterior please use pre-preparation and then your if your pre-preparation scan is not really merged with the prep scan use this aligning function so now let me turn on rear view again we don't have eye, let me skip the first one. Grab the scissor, zoom in. Beautiful smile here. Okay, cut it out. Next step, alignment. So when I click alignment, software just show pre-preparation scan, not prep scan. Let me switch over, let me go back. If I click alignment always it's going to show us and then want to use the pre-preparation scan so first dot k9 and k9 second dot third fourth we i just did uh go through this work with the first video about the uh, quick setup video so please check that too after align it if you can see some difference Adding a one more dot here, make it better. Adding another dot here, make this better. If not, precise movement, make this better. Make a better alignment. Cool. So we know the design is designed after patient's photo alignment. Uh, we can just, if you want to see, turn on and off and finish the design. And the next step after design is all done. Okay. So designing tool exactly the same as a normal crown and bridge design. So I'm going to go through that. I'm not going to go through them. Sorry. Go next step. The most important part is virtual preparation. show you so first thing the most important part is number one thickness and number two is remove undercut or not okay so if you guys want to design or make it like a shell really shell let me just use the snipping tool if you guys want to make like this all the same thickness please turn off 
the uh, remove undercuts. Please turn off. If you don't turn off, software will generate your tooth, I'm sorry, your crown as a, like a virtual prep and crown on top of there, which meaning is crown gonna be thick. Okay, crown gonna be thick. Of course, uh, after uh, Dr. Prep's done, doctor can just modify a little bit and use it, but think about why doctor wanna use a shell temporary. Number one, for aesthetic. Number two, for saving their time. So uh, please make sure, to me, I wanna always turn off remove undercut. And if it's over two tooth, just click apply all. So the thickness of the shell, set it, and then remove undercut, turn off, and apply all. Okay. If I go to next, next, we are under the final line. This is anyway bridge, so make sure contact has to be strong. We can go back. Okay, we can go back if it's not strong enough. Make a contact strongly. You know how to do this, right? Or in the final lines, to me, again, for the shell temporary bridge, which include the Pontic, I want to use wax knife again under the final light. Grab the uh, smoothing tool. Make a strong plus, make a strong connection. Okay, it's up to you. Okay. And final step, go next. The case is done, is done. But just I want to show you how it's going to be look like. In here, you cannot see the what is your final STL file shape. So it still look like removes, uh, like undercut got removed out. But in reality, let me just close it out. Okay. Wait three second. Right click. Generate cam. After that, explore cam, which can see the STL. Open it. This is rear shell. Okay, same thing as I set around 0.6, right? 0.6.5. So this is a shell. So if you not turn off the remove undercut, you will see more thicker shell provision or temporary. Okay, please don't forget about it. And then any question, if you want to see something new every time, always read the by cans are open. So please just uh, leave the comment. Don't forget to click the like and then any question or any suggestion always welcome thank you very much bye bye